I was in the Navy. I was a submarine sailor. The camaraderie that submariners have, everybody depends on everybody, and I needed that. I just started itching from head to toe, nonstop for two weeks. I went to the doctor. Gallstones was backing up into my liver. They removed my gallbladder, and the doctor saw a mass in the head of my pancreas. When I first learned that I had large B-cell lymphoma, I really didn't know what it was. Try to keep your spirits up. I was positive I was going to get rid of this. Your body conforms to how you feel. We did a round of heavy chemotherapy, took a CT scan, and looked like it disappeared. A month later, we did another, and it had all come back. We discussed my options of what to do. He said, why aren't you doing this through the VA? I said, well, I uh, never thought about it, you know. Got me talking with the community care and all that, and then it got rolling from there. Challenging thing for a lot of patients who live in rural areas or areas not close to big centers is getting the access to care. The advantage of having this treatment within the VA system is that all of the travel is covered, all of the lodging and the care itself is covered. Getting that message out to veterans is really important. CAR T, it's a treatment option for patients who either don't respond to their initial chemotherapy or they've had the disease come back within 12 months or have more than two lines of therapy already. When we did the CAR T, they took the T cells and sent them to California to get them re-engineered. Then they sent them back for 10 days. They were monitoring me every four hours, round the clock. I expected the best because I knew if they were good doctors and I had a pretty healthy outlook. I was out for 30 days. That's when I got my first CT scan. It was all clear. Everything's gone. It was an exhilarating feeling when you know there's nothing there anymore. It's just marvelous. <laughs> what can you say? Taking care of the patients, just like William, being there for them through one of the most challenging times of their lives. I spoke with him the other day, and just to hear that he's doing well, it's really rewarding. It was a very eye-opening experience. You just realize how short life is.